Kim was um, really getting tired of me walking back and forth. She goes, Mike, you're like a caged lion out there. Go out and do something. So I went out and I, I ran for like five miles. And it was like, well, the more I ran, the better I felt about things. And then I finished up. We live right across from Lake Michigan. So I jumped in the lake afterwards. It was like doing a triathlon. And I, I felt like me again. So I remember the doctors telling me, you know, that there's not too much you can do except, you know, uh, do things that are can help your cognitive functioning and can keep depression from knocking at, at the door. So I get off, I ride my bike, I'm bomb dancing classes, boxing drills, and afterwards you're done, your brain hurts because you're doing all these different things. Well, exercise is just part of Mike's identity. He's an athlete, he has to move. He's always, always exercise. He's always moved from one sport to the next. So that's something that we have to keep in place and we can't lose. We do low glycemic, which is the low sugar. So low glycemic, we load up on the omegas, you know, so you want the good fats, avocado and, and coconut and olive oil, lots of olive oil. We eat a, a lot of protein, lean sources of protein, blueberries, strawberries, walnuts, almonds, so you know, nuts, seeds. First and foremost, we're keeping in mind getting the good stuff in him and getting enough of it in him. Conversation face to face is one of the best things you can do because it's novel, it's it's problem solving as you go along, it promotes the word finding. You know, I'll do Sudoku puzzles, you know, till I'm blue in the face. Crossword puzzles are a little harder. When I read a book, I'm good for about a paragraph before my mind goes someplace else. So I have to force myself to sit in there and that'll force you to concentrate on something and you know, be able to move to the next paragraph, you know, remembering what happened in the paragraph before. So that's been very effective. 